Hello guys welcome back to my channel, in today's video we're gonna see about Thor. Wait. I'm not talking about the Marvel character Chris Hemsworth played as. I'm talking about the Norse mythological god of Thunder Thor. Did you know that he was also known as the protector of mankind and partly responsible for healing, fertility and law and order? No. Don't worry. You're gonna find out more about him soon, so, let's get into this video. Thor, whose name derives from a word meaning thunder, is the son of Odin. And his mother is a female Jodin who is generally believed to be a personification of the earth. He is a hammer-wielding god associated with lightning, thunder, storms, sacred groves and trees, strength, the protection of mankind, hallowing, and fertility. Thor was the defender of Asgard, realm of the gods, and Midgard, the human realm, and is primarily associated with protection through great feats of arms in slaying giants. The majority of the tales featuring Thor, in fact, put him in conflict with a giant or with his nemesis the Midgard serpent, Jormungandr, the huge monster, a monstrous snake who coils and twists itself around the world. Like almost all of the Norse gods, Thor is doomed to die at Ragnarok, the end of the world and twilight of the gods, but falls only after killing the great serpent with his powerful hammer Majalnir, dying to its poison. His sons Magni and Modi survive Ragnarok along with a small number of other gods and inherit his hammer which they use to restore order. He developed from the earlier Germanic god Donner and became the most popular deity of the Norse pantheon. Thor continues as a popular god in the present day, too, and the modern English and German words for the fifth day of the week, Thursday which means Thor's day. It is said that Thor would burst forth from his great hall in his chariot, drawn by two goats who could be killed and eaten and then revived the next day if their bones remained unbroken. Thor's popularity reached its height during the Viking Age which was from 790 to 1100 AD at which time he was considered the greatest rival to Christ when, roughly from the 10th century onwards, Christianity was introduced to Scandinavia. More amulets and charms of Thor's hammer date from the period when Christianity and the Norse religion were in contention than from any other. Christianity finally prevailed and the cult of Thor was gradually replaced by the new religion by the 12th century. The roar of thunder was the rumble of Thor's chariot's wheels across the vault of the heavens and, in another story, he is credited with creating tides. He had three magical items which helped him defend Asgard and Midgard, his hammer Majalnir, his belt of strength Meginjor, which doubled his strength when he wore it, and his great iron gloves which he needed to wield his hammer. The introduction of Christianity to Scandinavia, at first, did nothing to diminish the importance of Thor in people's lives. The god continued to be invoked throughout the greater part of the Viking Age as evidenced not only by the amulets and charms mentioned above but by engravings, images, statuary and the stories which continued to be told about him. Thor was not just the preferred god of the Viking warrior, his strength and direct response to problems appealed across the spectrum of Viking Age social classes. The hammer that Thor wields is generally seen as his symbol. Contrary to the popular image of Thor in the present day from Marvel comic books and films, he was not the brother of Loki and is never depicted as clean-shaven or blonde-haired except in Chapter 3 of the Prose Edda which was composed in 1220 AD as a mythography of earlier Norse myths reworked by the Icelander Snorri Sturluson into one structured account, written from a Christian context. Elsewhere, and in almost every image, Thor is always shown with long red hair and a great beard, often is not leaping into battle against giants or killing dwarves without pausing to consider alternatives to violence. Norse Thor is very different than the comic book Thor. One cannot say that they know about Thor in general only by reading or watching Marvel comics and movies. Viking Age Scandinavians especially revered Thor not only as a guide across the seas and protector from storms, but as a champion in battle. Thor was mighty, loyal and always willing to defend his home and people. He'll always be one of the most legendary gods to ever exist in mythology. I'll upload more videos about his myths in the future. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, tap the bell icon so you won't miss any of my new videos. If you have any suggestion on what should I talk about in my next video, leave a comment in the comments section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.